Arnold versus Fedco, live every Monday, 1 to 2 p.m., exclusively on Trib Live Radio. Now, here's your hosts, John Steigerwald and John Fedco. Trib Total Media, see what's next. Brought to you by Eastern H2O, located in Fox Chapel Plaza. Is your ski or snowboard ready to go? Stop in and have your gear waxed up at Eastern H2O. While you're there, check out the great sales and specials they have, like the Reactor Watches. Yes, and uh, welcome to Steigerwald versus Fedco. It is brought to you by Eastern H2O. It's located in Fox Chapel Plaza. It is a performance sports store. Reactor watches, baby. Check them out at the uh, H2O, Eastern H2O store located in Fox Chapel. We got a lot of things. We got a big weekend we, that just uh, completed here of Absolutely. sports. Absolutely. Um, Good weekend for the yeah. local guys. Yeah. Real good weekend. Yeah. Before we get to the uh, the Penguins and the Hall, I want to get to. We're going to talk about uh, the Penguins. You wanted to fire Bilesma last week, I think. Uh, I did not. <laughs> uh, don't. No, don't. No, I did not. No, I, I did not. Uh, Maybe last year I yeah. did, but not uh, last week. The Jerome Bettis not getting into the Hall of Fame. I'm we'll sure. get to that. Travis but I want to ask you. The, I'm, I'm assuming you did watch that football game. Yesterday. Absolutely. Um, question in town now. To to, to Pittsburgh eyes it to Steeler eyes it a little bit. Would you, today, rather start the season that, now? Uh, systems aside, and having you know the whole thing that goes with changing quarterbacks, mm-hmm. we'll that put that aside for a second because there's an issue about whether you you know a new quarterback getting adjusted. That stuff all right. aside, would you rather start the season next year with Joe Flacco as your quarterback or Ben Roethlisberger? Ben Roethlisberger. Okay, why? I'm not going to give up on it because I think Ben Roethlisberger is one of the most unique quarterbacks in the history of the league. I still think he has five years left in his prime. Nobody escapes uh, the intense pass rushes of today's NFL better than Ben Roethlisberger, and nobody makes plays on the fly in the history of the game like Ben Roethlisberger from the quarterback position. He's one in a million. I would not trade him. I agree with that 100%, except I'll ask you this question. Who's been the better quarterback since last Oh, January, no December. question, Joe Flacco. Yeah. None. Flacco's moved himself after that performance in the playoffs now. I'm not talking about the Super Bowl. Yeah. I'm talking about that playoff ride puts him in Ben Roethlisberger's category unequivocally. Yeah. He's yeah. got to be top five in the league. He's got to be. No. He has to be. My problem with – with uh, I, I would take Flacco because I like the way he's playing right now, and I, I don't like the way uh, Ben Roethlisberger has played the last year or so. Um, with the pick sixes and bad bad decisions he shouldn't be making at this point in his career. And <clears throat> I just have this feeling, I could be wrong about it, uh, that Ben Roethlisberger is one of these guys who uh, is going to be really good, really good, and fall off a cliff. Wow, like a Joe Namath. Well, yeah, Joe, I, I, yeah, yeah because, Joe because of what you just said. With his, his whole thing is built on his escapability. When he loses... Ten uh, percent of that ability, it goes from being an unbelievable asset to a real detriment, and something that gets you in trouble because he's going to be getting sacked and throwing bad interceptions. Uh, that's I can't prove that that's going to be the case. I just I'm beginning to get that feeling. I'm watching Flacco. I think Flacco's trajectory is like this. Mm-hmm. Ben's is more like that level, and and I think uh, I talked about this with the other guys earlier before you came in. I'm wondering if, if, if the Steelers are uh, moving forward with the idea that they're not going to let Ben Roethlisberger be Ben Roethlisberger, that they are going to try to cut down on his escapability, and, and they're, they're, all they do is talk about protecting their quarterback, protecting their quarterback, and I have a feeling that the more you try to protect him, the less uh, – Valuable he becomes. Right. In other words, you don't want to uncordell Stewart him, yeah. like they tried yeah. to do with Cordell yeah. for a yeah. while. Yeah. Uh, take away his some of his best attributes and made him unique. Well, yeah. Bill Cowher wanted to put Alex uh, uh, um, Smith back in the in the game yesterday. Oh, I, saw, I heard that. That's all yeah. you need to know. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I, I digress. Well, I, and listen, the reasoning Cowher was giving was he hates um, quarterbacks. Well, but he thought that. Smith had more experience, yeah. and Smith would be he able Ken to Graham had more handle the. Ha, 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 he and and I agreed with Cower that that San Francisco was in the two minute drill from that point on. But guess what? Kaepernick did it. Yeah, right. He did it. I mean, uh, you know, if, if if it wasn't for that field goal drive, which was a tremendous drive engineered by Bill Baltimore, Cower was a very good NFL coach. Here's something he was not very good at. Handling quarterbacks, but go ahead. No, he was uh, terrible handling yeah. quarterbacks. Yeah. He proved that over the years, and 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 luck. 
It was lucky Ben Roethlisberger. He didn't want him. He no, he, he didn't, wanted, not didn't want him, but remember, he was playing Kent Graham over him. Am I mistaken no, no, on that? No, he was playing Kent Graham over Cordell. He was, playing, he, he was going to go who with another he, year of Tommy Maddox, right, but, but, who had been just brutal the last year. But they were that, remember, it was, the floor, it was the game in Miami. Remember, Ben was like the backup. They, yeah. He was forced to play Ben as a rookie, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Who, yeah, but Jolly Batch got hurt, and, and he became – Ben Roethlisberger became the – He was the third-string quarterback yeah, at Batch the time. Yeah, was two – who was number one? Was it Maddox? I thought it was Graham. Wasn't it Kent Graham? We no, no, this no. Up. Kent Graham. No, I forgot. All right. Well, whatever. I'm with you on the fact Maddox was. No. he, he, he No. We have to look it up, but it was a nobody. I'll Maddox tell you that. was. Maddox got hurt against Baltimore. Ben went in and played the rest of the season, and they didn't lose a game. Now we'll look it up. Yeah. Because it, it, was, it was 90. It was, it was um, 94. Oh four, but go oh, ahead four. and make your ninety four. You're your, right. Make your ninety four was Neil O'Donnell. Yeah. It was oh oh four. That's it. Yeah. Was oh four. All right. Um, yeah, Mattis got hurt against Baltimore in the second game. Replaced by Ben, they didn't lose a game the rest of the year. Third okay. game. Third game. All right, make my case for. Yeah, well, just saying. I, I, I right now, I'm a, I'm. A, I'm going to stick I'm, with I'm, Ben because I think he's, a, I think he's a Hall of Fame type quarterback. You got to have a team around him. Yeah. Um, but you know, I see Ben very much as in the same. Um, Way that John Elway struggled a lot, not struggled, but couldn't win the big one with that Denver team, and it wasn't Elway's fault. It was the guys around him. Yeah. And then once Elway got the right team, he went reeled off two in a row. Yeah. I still say Ben's got a couple more Super Bowls in him. I've seen enough. Man, look, Ben had to talk me out of myself. I wasn't a huge proponent of Ben Roethlisberger until he kept getting them to Super Bowls. I've seen him now make again. I'll go back to the nine second play this year where he held the ball for nine seconds oh, and bought it I'm all on his own. No other quarterback, including Fran Tarkenton, can do it as well as Ben because Tarkenton could scramble, but he couldn't literally brush people off like fleas. I will so, never deny that. Yeah. So 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 because of his unique ability. If if I have a if I have a one in a million in any sport, I'm keeping him okay. in any sport. So I, I'm and in, I don't think Flacco's one in a million. Great quarterback, great quarterback, uh, and but he's not one in a million. Ben's one in a million. So I, I'm not trading Ben for anybody at this point. And remember, right. Steigerwald versus Fedco is brought to you by Eastern H Two O. It's located in the knee in the Chapel uh, Fox Chapel Plaza. Reactor watch. Reactor watch. Forget that.